Quiet Riot gets way too much disrespect and not enough credit for what they did. Come on, feel the noise! In 1983, one band's success changed the course of American music. The three and a half, four million copies sold with five. They jumped over Thriller. Over Michael Jackson's Thriller. And made it to number one. We were ecstatic. Well, let's see if we got some fans here. Is a blowjob out in the fire station? It was the 70s. No, no, that was 83. So it was the 80s. And, and they, the party was, was a cool thing. It was just the greatest time of my life. With Frankie and Kevin, it was an unparalleled vision they had. Their friendship was stronger than whatever hardships they went through because of the music. I love you, baby. Baby, I really love you. And there's something I want to show you. Dude, metal around. band Quiet Riot, Kevin Dubrow, was found dead in his Las Vegas... He knew how much he meant to me. He was sad because he lost his best friend. I also miss being in this thing called Quiet Riot. Kevin was half of Quiet Riot, so how can you do it? So I said, yeah, well, let's do it. OK, Mark, you're in. Welcome to nowhere. Here's the thing promoter said to me. I've never used a sound company before. Can you let me know if they're any good? Oh, great. I'm having issues again. I'm having issues. You can't introduce a song like, come on, feel the noise. You can't introduce it with a whisper. I'm so to the noise. It makes everybody think that no. Without Kevin DeBro, there's no quiet ride. No one's going to be that replacement. He died, but I had to stay here and pick up the pieces. It's not supposed to happen this way. Listen, if you don't carry on the legacy of your friend, nobody else will. My father said, you have two choices in life. One is to do the best you can, and the other is to not do anything at all and just give up. And he always said the second one wasn't an option. So I just keep going.